Since I covered some of the modifying commands, some drawing commands and control points as well, we can now comfortably talk about the snap settings or what AutoCAD calls object snap. To point out the setting for object snap, it's actually in the status bar on the bottom right, and then you can find it here, and it's this icon. You can right click on it and you will see these options that we have here, and I'll show you in a second what they are. Uh, let's go back here. So let's do a drawing, for example. Let's do a line. So I'm going to start the line command. And then let's say I want to start it from one of the corners of like the objects we have here. So what I can do is come to this corner and you will see we get a green uh, a green reference square. And that specifically pinpoints the endpoint of the geometry. So because of the snap settings, we can actually get these reference point. If it's inactive or disabled, and now I try to do a line, you will see it will not exactly pinpoint to that corner. So that's why you want to keep it on at all the time. So just make sure if something doesn't work with the snap settings, now you know where to control it. So I just showed you the endpoint. Now let me show you another one of these snap settings, uh, and it's the midpoint. So I'm going to start another line. And then, for example, let's say I want to draw my line from this point to the middle point of this um, of this side of the other polygon, and you will see we will get a green triangle. Uh, and then depending on the geometry that we're referencing, you will get like different points. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, the circle, for example, uh, it doesn't have the end point and the midpoint, but what it has, it has a center, which you can reach by basically uh, putting the cursor close to it. And then you will see right here, it will get highlighted. And then from here, you can basically draw from the center. And then the next point that the circle has is called a quadrant, which you can find like in these four corners right here. So these are called quadrants. Uh, and just to show you their names, I can right click here and you can see it. But one more to show you is actually like the geometry center or like, uh, so for example, this rectangle has also a center to it, which happens to be exactly in the middle here. So you can access it the same way we did with the circle, just by hovering over we will get this icon and then you can now reference it and work from it. The ones we're gonna be using throughout the course, you can find them here. I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna go to settings. So that way you can see the full list. So just make sure we are using these. I showed you the end point, the midpoint, the center it has to do with the with circle. Uh, the geometric center has to do with the other objects uh, that are not circular, basically the, the polygons. And then we have a node which has to do with points. I don't think we will use it, but maybe we'll go over it. Quadrant, intersection, make sure you have it. Extension, and apparent intersection. The rest, um, you can, if you might think like, let me just select all of them, but the thing is they interfere with each other when you have too many options. So uh, I'm only gonna be using these uh, and you won't be used, like we're not gonna use the insertion and the rest. So I think just stick with these so that way it works. And anyway, those are the ones I'm planning to cover. So we went over all the essential information that I wanted to share with you before we start working on our project. And I'll do a quick recap of what we went over. Uh, we talked first about the interface and the different palettes that make AutoCAD. We talked about the units and we set that up using the units uh, window. And then I showed you some drawing commands like the line, polyline, polygon, and circle. I think we did rectangle as well. And then we talked about the modifying commands like the move, copy, rotate. And we talked about the control points or the vertices. And we wrapped up with the snap settings that has to do basically with the, with the control points that we showed earlier. Now we are ready to start drawing our project and we're going to start with doing the outline.